Hello again everybody, Jim Hickey coming at you from Bass Fishing Tips and Tactics. And today I want to introduce you to a site um, that I think everybody, or all bass fishermen, might find beneficial. Uh, especially for those knots that we kind of forget about every so often and you know, kind of struggle to remember how to tie. Obviously we all need knots. Uh, this is how we attach the line to the various uh, hooks and lures and so forth that we use when we're out there trying to catch those uh, elusive little finny things. Well, the name of the site is uh, it, uh, Grog's Animated Fishing Knots, and this is the Fishing Knots Index. And as you can see, as you scroll around here, they basically list most of the common uh, knots that we might use as fishermen. Uh, even kind of one here that I guess is associated with uh, putting your boat on a dock. But at any rate, you know, the knots that I commonly use, the Albright Knot, the Blood Knot, occasionally a drop a loop, not very often. In the past, a nail knot when I used to fly fish, which I don't do much anymore. The imp improved clinch knot is kind of my old standby for what I use for tying lures on most of the time, as well as many hooks. I'll supplement that, offset that nowadays with a Palomar as well. The trilene uh, is another knot that I'll use on occasion, although it's basically a variation of the improved clinch. And then the Rapala knot is one I use fairly frequently when I'm fishing lures like Rapalas because it allows it, the lure to keep a, a natural action. What's really cool about the site is the fact that it doesn't just show you, you know, these knots and, and kind of how they're configured, but it actually demonstrates, you know, uh, through an animated process, uh, how these knots are actually tied. So, but what do you use these various knots for? Well, the Albright knot, for instance, I use this when I'm attaching a relatively thin limp line to a much heavier, um, uh, thicker line, uh, one that's, that's a lot stiffer. Um, you know, a lot of times you might have a leader, like a fluorocarbon leader going on to another line that's thinner, and that fluorocarbon leader is heavier. Well, trying to tie that with a blood knot, which is one way you might attach two lines together, uh, doesn't usually work too well. So in that case, I use the Albright, and I'll show you why that's effective as it shows you how to tie it here in a moment. If I'm just tying two lines together in order to join uh, lines of equal diameter in equal limpness, or that are fairly close, I use a blood knot, okay? And, you know, the one case I use this is when I'm changing the line on my fishing reels, which I do quite frequently. But one thing I don't want to do when I'm changing my line is I don't want to take all the line off the spool because, you know, in my case anyways, that lower half of the line, I, I very rarely get to. So in order to keep fresh line on, on top, I just kind of leave the backing, if you will, that lower half of the line is backing, and then use a blood knot to tie on the fresh knot. That way I'm only putting on, say, 50 yards at a time as opposed to 100 to 150 yards. Saves money, keeps your line fresh, so forth and so on. So it's a pretty cool trick. Um, the improved clinch or the palomar are the uh, knots that I use most of the time for tying lures and hooks and you know weights on occasion directly to my line. I, I usually very rarely use a snap swivel, but the only time I use it is when I'm throwing an inline spinner. Um, otherwise, most of the time I'm, I'm tying directly to the lure. And, and the, the, again, the knots I use for doing that are mainly the improved clinch knot because it's the one knot that I first learned to tie and I've been doing it for years. It's kind of like automatic. Occasionally I'll use a Palomar knot in certain situations, especially for like preparing drop shot rigs. And once in a while I might, you know, remember, oh yeah, there's a trialing knot which is kind of this variation of the improved clinch and it's supposed to be a little stronger. Um, so, well, but let's get down to it. You know, what is the site all about? What makes it particularly useful? Well, let's just click on the Albright knot and it will bring us into a new screen. And if you watch the little animated video there, it basically shows you how to tie that Albright. That was in fast motion. Now, if I go back and click on slow motion, it'll do it a lot slower, okay, as it's going through the process here. In this case, the stiffer line that I referred to would be this orange line. And you just basically take this down and loop it. And then you take your lighter, thinner line and kind of whip it around and then bring it down to the end, clip it off. You have a perfect way to join a thin line to a thicker, stiffer line. The other thing I'll use with this in the blood knot in particular is not just tying the knot, but nowadays 
I'll also use a little bit of fishing glue in order to help that set up a little better, makes it cast easier, and things like that. So another little trick to keep in mind. Okay, going back up to the blood knot. See how that's tied? As this screen opens up, you'll see how the blood knot comes together. Where you take two lines and join them together. Okay. Now I'd show you this in slow one and slow mode as well, but it goes really slow, so I'll let you do that on your own at a, at a later date. On your, on your on your own, I should say. The improved clinch knot. Click on that, and it shows you how to tie an improved clinch. We loop it around a couple of times and cinch it down, and, and there you go. And again, to do that in slow motion. You bring the line through the eye, twist it around several times, six times or so, bring the tag end through the loop down by the eye, and then bring the tag end back through the loop you make when you do that, cinch it down, and you're all set. One thing to remember when you're first cinching these lines together, you know, tightening them up, always remember to moisten them a little because that helps the line slide and reduces friction and, and keeps things stronger. Okay? So again, you can go back and investigate these knots on your on your own. I am going to add a link directly to the site underneath this post, uh, so you'll be able to click on that. I'm also going to add a second link, link that will go out to a download of a zip file that has several different little uh, knot files, PDF files contained within it. That way if you find any of those beneficial, you can you know print them out, put them in your tackle box, keep them in your boat so you have those available when you're out in the water. Obviously, you're not going to have access to this site when you're out there. Hope you find it useful, and we'll be talking to you again soon. Have a wonderful day.